here's the second casualty of the morning the Hawker Tempest if you watch the video that I made of this maiden I had a warning sign when I first tried to take off it tipped nose forward and I was holding up elevator and I didn't realize that I was actually applying down elevator so when I took off again I was pushing the sticks forward which is down elevator but of course I turned safe mode off pulled up elevator and she went straight into the ground so it is no good just saying the words you know left right up down rudder okay you've got to check those movements and double check those movements fortunately the damage is superficial I've got a broken prop blade and uh, I've got a complete set of props and I'm just going to need one blade I'm just going to replace the one blade <clears throat> um, what I also have to do is this undercarriage came out it's just the plastic moulding there's actually no damage whatsoever to where it goes in so I'll easily be able to fit that back in and glue it back down so that'll be good and the nose weight came off and I've crunched up the nose I've sort of crunched up this nose a bit but it's kept its form and it doesn't look too bad uh, tough little bird so that will be repaired today and for the short time she was flying she felt good here's what I've done I've taken the wing off and checked that out and it's fine uh, I do have to glue the undercarriage mount for the right wing back to in place but that'll be fine I'll do that a bit later while I had the wing off I've done what I can with the wiring on the speed controller and I've managed to gain a couple of about two centimeters but that's enough to make it problem free when you're connecting whereas before it kept disappearing the receiver's fine where it is so by going through this little hole in the top here you can release the motor which I've done there are two screws on the back plate of the spinner. You unscrew those and the front of the spinner comes off. With the front of the spinner off, there's a nut that bolts this all down with a washer on top of it, which is over here like that. You unbolt that and you can take the whole thing off. And each blade is held in by a screw. I was going to replace just the broken blade but then I realised that the replacement blades have these stickers on it and I've just left this like this to show you how they go they can only go one way uh, they're designed they go over a little grommet and they just push in place then you have to just screw it down the spare blades do come with a screw but I'm a screw for each blade so you get four screws in the pack but I'm not using those I'm using the existing screws that came with the original blades that's it then we can put it back over the motor put the washer on because the washer helps pin all four blades down and then put the nut on the spinner basically can line the screw holes up it goes over there's two tiny screws Ah. 
you might not see it, but there is a little mark here where the grommet gripped the motor. There we go. Pretty much that bit fixed. So we've got four blade prop again. Okay, so we're just uh, putting the undercarriage back in. I've covered this bit in Yuhu Paw. I've covered this foam in Yuhu Paw. Put the two together. Uh, and we're just waiting a few minutes now. And we'll put that plate back in there. That's it. Simple as that. So I've just reconnected the ailerons. Ailerons. Right, there it is, all fixed and repaired. Well, I do want to test those movements again, so let me put it up on the stand. Well, the battery's in where it's supposed to be. Right, so we want to go right. Right aileron lifts up, that's fine. We want to go left. Left aileron lifts up, that's fine. We want to go up in the air, so you pull down on the stick and this should go up, which it is now. Push that down and it goes down. Rudder to the right, rudder to the left. Okay. Seems okay. Let's give it a burst. Let's get that forward and then we'll stick back. Loads of thrust, my god. <laughs> right, so we're good. Up, down, high right, up. Down. And it should be yeah, so the stability mode. That way. So I'm pretty happy with all of that now, but I have no idea how I missed that elevator needing to be reversed. But we're okay now. Fortunately, I wasn't too high, just didn't hit the ground too hard. So that's one repair done. And the next repair will take a bit longer, and I'll have to strip the plane down a lot more. But I've got all day, so I'm going to get on and do it. So thanks for watching, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you on another video. Cheers.